things and stuff. Oh, I'm recording. Hello, tiny computer camera. Um, so here's a little hint as to what today's topic is going to be about. P.S. Sorry, no video last week. The reason was because cue sad violin music. Cue cat's bum in my face. Last week was just a really, really long week. I've been working two jobs and I've just been so tired. So for those who do not know, I, um, I come from the UK and I now live in the US. And so I think I'm in a good position to make a few observations about the difference between the two cultures, the two countries and some of the people. Number one, everyone says that British people are really reserved and kind of unfriendly. I sort of get where this stereotype might come from. Um, since moving to the USA, everyone has been so friendly. When I first got to Denver, I'd go out to a club or to a bar and instantly I'd have made like five best friends ever um, and people would be buying me drinks and telling me everything they knew about the UK and asking me questions about the Queen. Like really, really friendly people. In the UK, we don't open up so fast um, and we won't share so much about ourselves straight away. The average American seems to be willing to share their entire life story with you, to tell you who they are, to ask you questions. Um, and be really forward. But even if you think they're being really, really friendly, are you actually getting to know them? And this is something I discovered. Americans are friendly up front, but it takes just as long to become actual friends with them. Again, massive generalization, but I also think Americans are more positive, more optimistic in the way that they speak. If you ask someone out here how they're doing, you always get the obligatory great or fine or awesome or really, really good, how are you? Whereas in the UK, you're more likely to get a kind of, oh, terrible, or well, you know, the weather, or well, it's a Tuesday. The funny thing is I think both cultures are putting that on a bit. Brits want to seem like they don't care, like they're not taking things too seriously and they're definitely not taking themselves too seriously. Americans want to seem positive, optimistic, friendly. I think the biggest difference for me and one of the hardest things is self-deprecation. I don't believe most Americans get self-deprecation. As an example, here is a crazily reenacted conversation between me and an American person. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, you know me, just bumbling along. Um, yeah, just basically on the way in here, I tripped over myself and managed to fall into a woman in a really awkward way. God, I'm such an idiot. Hey, buddy, do you want to talk about it? I don't think you're an idiot. I think I think you need to have a bit more faith in yourself. I mean, no, no I'm ju I'm just telling a funny story. I mean, just because I thought it, I thought it was funny and kind of a stupid thing to do. Do you think you're stupid? I mean, is that, is that a sign of depression? Are you finding that you still have an appetite? Are you sleeping okay? Are you no no seriously, dude? It's just this thing I I, I do. It it's meant to be funny, you know, so you could laugh at me, because so we could share stupid stuff that we do. Oh, oh, okay. Awkward. A lot of people say that Americans know nothing about geography or the world or are completely egocentric. That is a stereotype about America. So one of the things we have to realize as Europeans is America is huge. It's a huge country. It's a continent. And every single state is pretty much the size of a European country. Could most Europeans place Connecticut on a map? Do they actually know where Maryland is? Probably not. What I will say is Americans on average tend to be slightly less culturally sensitive, especially to cultures they haven't met before. Um, I found here in Denver that people will just start mimicking my accent or will ask me really personal questions about my life back in the UK. It doesn't offend me. Um, but it, it isn't something you would experience in the UK. I feel that if America was a Hogwarts house, it would probably be Gryffindor. And I think if the UK were a Harry Potter house, it would probably be Ravenclaw. Let's forget all of these stupid stereotypes, okay? Like, Americans aren't fat and stupid, and British people aren't snooty, always drink tea with bad teeth. Stereotypes are so stupid. Anyway, I really hope I haven't offended anyone. Remember, I'm just a stupid Brit with a few opinions. Um, don't take anything I've said too seriously. 
Um, if you did like it, then definitely give it a like. If you want to hear more, definitely follow and please leave a comment because I love to hear what you think. Also, I friggin' tweet now. Uh, so if you like blatherings of this sort, then follow me on Twitter. God, why does everyone follow people on the internet? It's so friggin' creepy. Also, I always forgot, check out my friggin' awesome t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I just poked myself in the eye with the British flag.